Nigerians are not having it all with Pastor Chris Oyakilume, and they are taunting him and asking why he hasn't used his healing school to cure COVID-19 because of the 5G in Nigeria trend. Many Nigerians want to know what the truth is about the viral trend. Just in case you have not watched the video of Chris Oyakilume explaining controversial topic of 5G network, hmm. if you like if you would like to know the truth about the discussion that everyone is currently having all over the world, I would recommend that you watch the video. Basically, the truth of the matter is that the fake news, which almost everyone is now aware of, is a big conspiracy theory. If you want to know the expert view on the matter, the whole truth, please try to read the article I wrote about the topic this morning. Check it out on my profile here on Oprah News. I promise it is enough to clear the air on the topic for everybody. So because of the part Oyakilome played in the spread of the conspiracy theory, preaching the unverified, non-universally proven topic as if it is true, as if it was true, many Nigerians are furious. Many have been criticizing Chris Oyakilome for aiding the spread of the fake news. And these are the comments. And someone says, why as Pastor Chris Oyakilo may not use his self-acclaimed healing school to cure the coronavirus patients around the world. Mm. Someone say, what nonsense and what have the so-called uh, Peter Akus done for humanity within his own sphere of life? Anyone that wants to make new talks about men of God, rubbish. Of course, I think uh, this uh, person that wrote this thing, is, uh, this, that wrote the article, uh, uh, Peter Akus. Uh, someone say, brother, you advertise healing school 24 hours and how and now people are sick all over the world why don't you deploy the healing powers prowess you always claim to heal people brother you have been deceiving people all so pastor chris did sl slice and spent minutes to reinforce the conspiracy theory about 5g and co uh, coronavirus what happened to the spirit of discernment? Many of our pastors have a lot to answer when all this is over. Why has Pastor Chris not say, uh, use the healing school? Another person is still repeating the same thing. Uh, our pastor can cure COVID-419 with healing school, not COVID-19. We shouldn't expect miracle for COVID-19 until scientists get a solution to it. There's some dubious preachers can claim miracles i actually believe in miracles it happens daily we often overlook them and seem like coincidence and someone says here that uh, the reality of it all is it is not uh pastor pastors that eat people god do and not until you recognize that you can't be healed how can you say he should use his healing school to heal COVID-19. You see God that will do the healing. The school only teaches how to get the healings from God. Another says, if uh, uh, viruses don't exist in nature, where do they come from? Anything that does not exist in nature is man-made. Don't let anyone deceive you. Take the liberty to go on uh, go on internet and search by yourself. Pastor Chris Oyakilume. DSCDD or something. And uh, Oasis made a whole explanation of how 5G, uh, Pastor Chris made a whole explanation of how 5G and COVID 19 is the plan of the Antichrist. And that video was recorded and most likely uploaded with 4G. Kai Kai. Only said, uh, Pastor Chris only said in order to achieve the new order, coronavirus was released. Then, search of solution, you all will be vaccinated with nigerians are quick to rubbish their own all in the name of a uh, wickedness from adeboye to tb joshua and now pastor chris had it been it was don moe or foreign pastor that actually come up with the sermon you all would have been applauding him and working on it uh you know here and there pastor chris Oyakilume, one of the biggest pastor in africa and probably in the world is also pushing this 5G, new world order, uh, COVID-19 conspiracy. It's going to get people killed and it's also pushing anti-vaccination. The same reason Jesus uh, did not heal all, all the sick in Israel during his 
earthly ministry. Many people are so daft, even in the time of Jesus, he didn't heal everyone. How many people came to the healing school with COVID-19 and were not healed? Do you think this disease is stronger than HIV or uh, lameness? He healed HIV and uh, lameness, but the center was closed down during COVID-19. So guys, a lot of uh, people are still uh, talking as if, uh, you know, as uh, you know, saying what they, they feel about this whole matter. But one thing I, I, I want to say about all of this is is that yes, God is a God is the one that he's nobody has a power to heal. But the reason why most of these pastors are always getting into trouble, the way they carry themselves, the way they you know make it seem it is not it is not uh, it is not uh, it's something that people are just uh, trying to, you know, discredit them or they're just making up. Because the way most of them carry themselves, you could see that they're spreading. I always tell people, majority, 90-something percent of those pastors, they are so arrogant. They are so proud. They are so full of themselves. Jesus is silent. In this day, Christianity, Jesus is silent. But most of these pastors are has sin. And majority of them don't even know, unknowingly to them. I can make excuses for them. Majority of them, I bet you, they don't even know. They don't even know what they've been doing to their to their congregations. Of course, majority of them always come, you know, there's this uh, body language. Even when they know that this is God that heals, but, you know, the Bible says that God's glory cannot be shared with any man. So those who are saying, oh, uh, why has he not healed people? Why he does not have power to heal anybody. He doesn't have power whatsoever. He does not have power. But because of the way most of them carry themselves, and that's why people always try to come out and say this and this and that. You know, this issue of uh, 5G or no 5G, uh, whether it is cancerous or whether it is a virus-like uh, or something, everybody should just, whatever you believe, believe whatever you believe. And those who will not believe, let them be. Whatever you believe, whatever you hold dear that you think that can save you, hold on to that. If you know that God is going to do it, if you know that you want to take all of these things that are going around, you want to take them seriously. If you don't want to take them seriously, it is not by force. But we need to be uh, objective. What a Pastor Chris has said, you know, it is not just coming out to, to say, oh, you have said the wrong thing, what have you. You know, listen and be open-minded. And those who are saying otherwise, listen to them, be open-minded, and you'll be able to know what and what to pick, you know, and what and what to put together. Do your research. It's not by, oh, I love this person, or oh, you say this because the person has been doing some tremendous things before now, or whatever the person says, you just take it. No, it goes beyond that. And that is why we are, we are having problem. Most times we have problem because we just depend on what somebody says. You don't go and do your own findings. Any little thing, oh, it's fake news, fake news. You, what do you know? Tell us what you know. Explain to us what you know. No, somebody will just come up with something. He has done his own research and he has come out to say, oh, this is what I, I noticed or this is what I've gathered. Some people just come out, oh, he's saying the wrong thing. Oh, those who are even antagonizing him, you know, like this particular person who, is, who wrote uh, an article concerning that, uh, uh, that, you know, because the person said, oh, people should not listen to Dino Milaye and Chris Oyakilome that they are spreading false news. They don't even know what they are talking about. Are they scientists? Are they researchers? and all of that if you listen to all of them that is why it is very very good to listen to everything just that you need to be mature you'll be open-minded and do your own findings then at the end of the day if you whatever you believe whether you believe in god you you whichever thing that you have already concluded this is what i want to take from all of the things that i've heard you know you say oh god i just want to hand over everything to you this is not time to start discrediting anything or discarding anything you don't discard, these are information that, you know, that are just there. It's for you to be open-minded and say, let me listen to this person, let me listen to the other person. Then you'll be able to make your conclusion. You don't just discard in any, oh, it is fake news. Oh, this one does not have a decent. The next thing, some people just be abusing. See issue, issue, the issue on ground that is, that is affecting the whole, whole world. People are abusing people. It's not people who have been affected in one way or the other. They will not have time to be typing and be talking. All they are crying for. It's for them to be healed. It's for them to come back to their feet. It's for them to get their to to to, to come their you know to come to their feet and get their healing to do things they've been doing before to to move around like other people. That is what those people are, are thinking of. You know, you are there abusing everybody. Oh, this one does not have power to heal. This one cannot heal. It goes beyond that. We need to be open minded, be objective in all the things that we do. And at the end of the day, you will see that you will be more relaxed because you know your minds. 
your mind will be free. You will be free of any form of a uh, of any of a uh, trade or you know you'll just be hurting yourself. Oh, I don't like this person. Oh, see what he said. Instead of it to be relaxed, because when your mind your mind is settled, you'll be able to get in the direct thing or you go to get the the, the the truth out of the whole thing. But if you are just biased, we are just you are just eating for nothing. You will not even be relaxed to even know what is right and what is not right. So guys, that is just my own take. Uh, you know, concerning those who are saying coming out for Pastor Chris that he has a healing school. Why is it that he has not been able to do that? You know, they should just relax and know and take whatever they want to take. If you don't want to take it, good and fine. But one thing is that nobody has the power to heal anybody. He does not have power. He has not no power at all. It's God that heals. Even the doctors, as they do their work, they will tell you they treat, but God heals. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below in the comment section. Thank you.